Okay, guys, today we're solving rational polynomial inequalities, concept four. All right. The easiest way to solve rational polynomial inequalities is using what's called a sign chart. And in order to use a sign chart, we have to have critical values. And our critical values come from making the numerator zero or making the denominator zero. So on a number line, we would test a uh, we would test these would be I'm sorry these would be points that would divide up our graph 3 4 5 and 6 notice we use 3 because putting 3 in here would make the numerator 0 putting 4 in here would make the numerator 0 putting 5 here would make the denominator 0 and putting 6 here would make the denominator 0 so we're going to develop something called a sign chart. We're going to test different x values. We're going to find out whether it's positive or negative. And then we're going to determine is that value less than or equal to zero. So the first thing we do is we pick a value that is less than three. Let's say zero. So we're going to pick zero and we're going to plug 0 into our equation. 0 minus 3 is a negative. 0 minus 4 is a negative. A negative times a negative would be a positive. Then we go to our next one in our denominator. 0 minus 5 is a negative. And it looks like 0 minus 6 would be a negative, but you got to be careful because 0 minus 6 is negative 6, but then look what we're doing with it. We're squaring it. So no matter what we do, whether it's a positive or a negative value in here, when we're squaring it, this value is always, always, always going to be positive. So sometimes what we can do is look, stick a little positive out there to reminders that don't just plug it in, remember to square it. So Going back to putting our 0 in the denominator, 0 minus 5 is a negative, and this is a positive. A negative times a positive is a negative. So our value for 0, positive divided by a negative, is a negative. And is that less than or equal to 0? Yes, it is. So then we're going to pick another value. Now our next value we have to pick has to be between 3 and 4. So an easy one to test would be 3.5. If we put 3.5 here, it would be positive. Put 3.5 here, this value would be negative. A positive times a negative is a negative. Divided by, put 3.5 in here, this would be negative, because 3.5 minus 5 is a negative value. And we said before, this is positive, so a negative times a positive is a negative. Negative divided by negative gives you a positive, so the answer here would be no. It is not less than or equal to zero. We test another point between 4 and 5, so let's try 4.5. We plug 4.5 here. 4.5 minus 3 is 1.5, but it doesn't matter. It's positive. And we put a 4.5 in here, it's also positive. So a positive times a positive is a positive. We put 4.5 in here. This would be negative because 4.5 is less than 5. So that would be negative. And we put this is always positive. So a negative times a positive is a negative. So our total value will be a negative and is a negative less than 0. Yes. We do that again between 5 and 6, such as 5.5. 5.5 here, that's going to be positive. 5.5 here, that's also going to be positive. Then we come down here, 5.5 here is positive, and it's also positive all the time here, so we get a positive. A positive over a positive is positive and a positive value is not less than zero so the answer there is no and then finally we have to get a number greater than six so we could try seven so we don't have to deal with decimals 
7 minus 3 is positive, 7 minus 4 is positive, so we get a positive numerator. 7 minus 5 is positive, and this one again is always positive. Positive over positive is positive, so the answer is no. So, we will know that our, um, to solve the rational equation where it's less than or equal to 0, yes, it is here. No, not between here. Yes, between here. No, here. And no, here. So our solution to this problem would be that from negative infinity up to 3, remember we never include negative infinity, and we can include 3 because 3 is in a numerator. In union with, and we can include 4 because that's where it starts because 4 is in the numerator. All the way up to 5. But we cannot include, I'm sorry, we can include, like I said, we can include and then didn't put the brackets. Okay, let's go over that again. We don't include negative infinity. We can include 3 because it's in the numerator. In union with 4, which we can include because it's in the numerator. But when we get to 5, we can't include it because 5 would make our denominator 0. So that would have to be a parenthesis there. So we'd have two sets of brackets and a parenthesis. And this is our solution to the inequality. I know this can be confusing, confusing, and I'm going to give you another example that's going to take a little longer to do but um, in class, but if we take our time and you go through it, it's an easy thing. So I look forward to presenting the nice long solution to you tomorrow. See you then.